guys welcome to another video and finally we are getting started with the Zenfone Pro M1 so I thought I'd let it be a special start and today we're going to install Pixel Experience ROM for the Zenfone Pro M1 which is based on Android 9. Now the special thing about this particular ROM is I've been using it for the last couple of days it has been solid I have had a few issues here and there but that I will cover in the full review. For now this is going to be a quick install and preview and that is going to be a series of these videos for the Zenfone Pro M1 just like other devices on my channel. For now if you've not already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because hey, we do awesome stuff with smartphones. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get flashing. Alright guys, so welcome to another video and in this video we are going to talk about this bad boy that is the Zenfone Pro M1. Excellent value for money and it has a ton of custom ROMs as well and apologies to the viewers who are using this particular device as their daily driver because you guys have waited a very very long time after the unboxing but rest assured we should have a lot of videos coming up for this device and we are starting with this baby right here. Now as you can see over here we are running Android 9 that is Android Pie and this ROM is none other than than Pixel Experience. Now this very same ROM was covered yesterday for Rolex and Riva and this one is Zenfone Pro M1 and let's go to bill number. There you have it. That psychedelic Easter egg for Android Pie. Yes it is there. The tabbed or the pill for you know gestures and stuff is there. So yes this is a full-fledged custom ROM which is based on Android 9.0 and the aim of this ROM is to make you feel as if you are using a Google Pixel. Now there are a few issues with this particular ROM. The stock launcher for that matter gives you a few bugs like you know there are glitches here and there and stuff and I've been using it for more than 24 hours. Uh, before we go ahead and actually share the installation process why not let's quickly have a look at the battery life and stuff like that because we're gonna wipe everything when I show you how to install it and stuff all right so 13 hours ago the last charge was there 2 hour 29, 21 minutes and 44 percent battery now this ROM does have a bug of slow charging at the same time what you can see over here is I am using Google camera or the Gcam mod which allows you to take amazing portrait like this one as you can see the portrait is really really nice so yeah it does have its perks and if you go to settings and stuff so we'll look at all those features once we're done installing first of all let's go ahead and look at the install process because of course this is an install and preview video if you're new to this channel let me tell you whenever i do an install and preview video you need to make sure you have more than at least 40 percent battery to ensure that you don't switch the device off or it doesn't power off while flashing and cause some damage to your phone's internals. At the same time, make sure all your data is backed up. That is extremely critical, guys. Once gone, the data cannot be recovered. So once you've taken care of these two things, download the ROM from the link that is mentioned in the description and download this specific TWRP version which is required for you to flash this particular ROM. Now that's all you need to get on to the Pixel Experience train. Of course, you need to have an unlocked bootloader. There is an unofficial way of unlocking the bootloader for the Zenfone Pro M1. If you don't know how to do that, well, here's a card to that particular video. So if we go to SD card, you would notice that I have Pixel Experience and TWRP is flashed. So considering that you've copied the ROM to your phone's internal memory or SD card, I would suggest copy to your SD card because we would be wiping the internal memory and you've installed the recommended TWRP version. All we need to do is first let's go ahead and power the device off so you need to press and hold power and volume down so let's go ahead and do that now as soon as you see the android logo you can leave the buttons and wait for the phone to boot up in twrp all right so there we have it the twrp that we're talking about is 3.2.3 and there is a decryption thing that can create a problem for your phone. It did create a problem for me when I flashed it. That is the reason I told you back up everything, including the internal memory. So that is the reason I have the ROM copied into the phone's 
memory card not in the internal memory so first things first we will go ahead and decrypt this device even if you are encrypted or not you might want to go ahead and do this because this will give you a very very pure and clean install so let's go to wipe format data and type in yes now before you click this particular tick mark let me warn you this is going to erase everything on your phone including your internal memory except your sd card so let's go ahead and tap this all right so that should decrypt your device now we will go to the main screen and then reboot and recovery and do not install so what we're doing now is we are booting back to recovery so that it has all the partitions available and then we will install the rom and there is a fix zip available which disables the force closures that you might face on the launcher and the camera app so now what we'll do is now that we are back in twrp let's go to wipe let's go to advanced wipe delvic cache system vendor data and internal storage we won't be wiping micro sd or usb otg swipe to wipe so now we are all set to install the rom so let's go to install upper level and we will go to external sd over here the latest build is 7th of september so we will choose this one and swipe to confirm flash now the flash will usually take anywhere between two to five minutes so please be very very patient while the flash is complete all right now as you can see the rom is completely flashed and all we need to do is go to reboot system and do not install now this is going to be the first boot for this particular rom so it may take up to five to seven minutes so if that happens don't think that the phone is in a boot loop or it is stuck it is very very normal for that to happen please be patient while the phone boots up and then we shall quickly set up the device and experience this wonderful rom all right so looks like we have booted up and you'll get this android system error so ignore it let's quickly skip through the setup screen and let's have a look at the rom all right so we have booted up we can see the pixel wallpaper the pixel 2 launcher which is based on android pi to the left we do have the google feed and stuff like that so yes this rom is very very minimalistic now the variant that we are using over here for this particular zenfone max pro m1 this is the variant with 3 gigabytes of ram and 32 gigabytes of internal storage and yes i am using this as my daily driver so an added advantage for this device or this particular rom right now while i do the install and preview is i can say that the ROM is rock solid but there are a few bugs here and there now this is just the second or third build but what i would say is if you flash the camera fix and stuff the camera works just fine the launcher works just fine all the basic functions work just fine voice over lt is there and you know when it comes to the features of pixel experience rom there are no customization options that you'll find yes if you look at the android pi features digital well-being is there so that is a good thing that is integrated into the rom and this launcher is directly from android p and this rom itself is based on pr1 that is public release one of android pi so it has all those artificial intelligent features of ai battery and ai brightness and stuff like that and yes you can definitely go ahead and install the gcam mod on this particular rom and it works just fine but overall i think you can use it as a daily driver it's it's not that bad that you cannot use it as a daily driver you have all the essential google apps that are available voice call quality is fine the signal although at times is on the lower side Apart from that, I've not really had a problem with, you know, the Wi-Fi or the battery backup. One major bug that I find, found in this particular ROM is that the battery takes a very, very long time to charge. It takes around five to six hours and it's the same case with a custom kernel as well that has been addressed to the developer and he is working on it. And if this ROM continues to be, you know, developed the way it is being, I can think that after two or three releases, this will definitely be my daily driver. And guys at Asus, if you are looking at this this is what your software needs to look like not the one you supply this phone with but for now this was a quick install and preview i will be doing a full review of this rom now let me know in the comment section what other roms do you want to see for the zenfone max pro m1 for now this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials until the next one keep smiling take care goodbye